Hey everybody, Jamie here joining you for another video review and in this one we're going to talk about another light that's just come out from Olight. There's a lot of uh, new features that have come out with this light and so we're going to talk about those and right now they're running a special for 40% off a bundle which is this light and a little uh, keychain light that they're throwing in on the deal. Let's talk a little bit about uh, what the deal is with this flashlight and why you might even consider having something like this. This is a tactical flashlight. It's a cool looking flashlight. You can find cool looking flashlights. You could probably find them for a lot less than what these cost, uh, but they're not gonna be the same. They're not gonna be the same quality and they're not gonna have the same durability or features as the Olight model. Olight designs these uh, flashlights in uh, Marietta, Georgia. The folks out there take their hunting and fishing and outdoor sports and shooting very seriously anything to do with outdoors uh, they want the highest quality that they can get their hands on and that's where this was designed this flashlight wasn't uh, manufactured in a manufacturing plant that makes thousands of these at a time with one label on them and then pulls some big old lever and says all right we're done with those let's put the Olight emblem in the little uh, template now and uh, punch that on the next run of a thousand two thousand lights all right let's pull that up and put uh this other label on for you know this other brand you know that's not where these come from these are specifically de uh, designed to spec to meet the marietta georgia standards and so this is a much higher quality flashlight than you're going to find from a lot that might look like this on uh, on the web and so I just wanted to point that out and, and one of the features that has come out with this new flashlight is that you, we can adjust the settings in several different ways let's start with what comes right out of the box let's start from the beginning from the box we get the flashlight very cool looking military looking I don't know I like it I'm into this kind of stuff flashlight it's durable water resistant shock resistant you get the sheath put it on your belt Put it someplace like I could mount it up here and then just use it as a cradle. <clears throat> and there's a little lanyard that comes with it too if we want to put a, a string through the end of it and have it on a little loop. So we get all those things. The first thing we want to do is take it off at the back and pull out the plastic protector that's keeping the battery from uh, operating the flashlight during storage and shipping. So we wanna take that out. I'll show you what it looks like. Looks like this. Pull that out and then put the battery on the charger. The way it charges is USB. We've got a USB on one end and a little magnet with a light on it on the other end. That, that light is red when the battery uh, is low and it turns green when you're all topped off and ready to go. So I can put this in my command center here Connected to the top, we can see that I'm already green, so this thing's topped off. I can put it just right there, and I know where my flashlight is, and I know that it's uh, that it's always in a charged up state. What uh, Oleg di did with this design, which I think is brilliant, is they've got two different ways to turn it on and control how much light that comes out of it. Imagine this is 1,800 lumens. So what does that even mean? It means it's super, super bright. But you know, having a bright flashlight comes at a cost, and that cost is it's putting out power from the battery. And that battery can only manage to put out a, a super bright light for so long without making it a bigger battery, less portability. So what Olight did is they designed a flashlight that strikes a balance between giving you the option of having a super bright light when you need it, but also this is many different flashlights for many different reasons. So for instance, I'm coming into a camp late at night looking for a new camp for my rig and I'm on the forest road and my headlights are shining straight ahead but I want to see if there's a fire ring over there to see if maybe that's a place I want to camp or I'm looking for my my friends you know over in that direction I'm using the the GPS on uh, Google and you know if it's not a, a real road sometimes it doesn't even work that well so I'm kind of lost and flailing around relying on a flashlight like this to find my way a headlamp's not going to do it the little light that comes on your phone certainly isn't going to do it. So I've got the option of hitting this back button 
and getting all 1800 lumens all at once and I can stick it out by the front of my window I can open up my window and stick it out the back or the side and I can see stuff I can see stuff for a long way but let's say I want to use this to find my remote that fell off the bed or a little uh, doohickey that goes on one of my camera gizmos that makes it do this or that in one of my drawers this all these 1800 lumens it's too much it's using too much battery and if I hit if I shine it on something white like a white box and all that stuff and it reflects back on one it's just too bright and the the designers knew that at Olight so they found a way to manage how much light this thing puts out and the way it works is there's a, a button right on the top here it's rubber they've got the option of having just barely a little bit of light coming out of this this is the moonlight setting I press the button on this on the uh, the side of it here and hold it for about a second now I'm gonna turn that off now I'm gonna turn it back on and I'm gonna hold it and it's gonna cycle through the different light settings now let's see and I can just stop it wherever I want it to be that's not the only function that the side button has okay this is the second lightest setting besides moonlight but I want you to see the green light it's green when your battery's in good shape let's read through the the settings that it has so you know what the different light colors mean and we don't have to go through that training and read the manual I'm gonna do it for you we're gonna do it right now together 75% battery life or more the lights green if it's between 75 and 30% the light is gonna be orange if it's below 30% but not below 10% the light's gonna be red. If it's below 10%, the light starts blinking red. So I don't wanna to get too much into the fine minutia of this. I just wanna show you that this is a sophisticated flashlight that has a lot of options that can become useful if we understand them. In my last flashlight review, I had a comment where uh, one of the commenters said, you guys are so silly with your toys. I just use a phone, my, my light on my phone. So I took that that comment to heart and did a demonstration last night with my phone light against the Oleg flashlight. Let's take a look. You may be asking yourself, why get an M2R Warrior flashlight when you got your cell phone that puts out a light? If you need your a light to get back to your camp, why not just use the one on your cell phone? Instead of picking up one of these durable, water resistant, you can drop it, it's not gonna break, drop your phone and take your chances. I see a lot of broken uh, screens out there. Uh, it, it puts you in the position of holding your phone out in the dark, stumbling over rocks uh, at a time that you don't really have to if you had a flashlight. But let's just see what this thing puts out in light. So now I got the, now I'm working my way back to camp. Working my way back to camp. Here we go. I can I can see I can see a little bit I can see right in front of me I can't I can't see a scorpion because they're really small so I can't really see that I can't see a rattlesnake from that far away and we have a friend on Facebook that just got bit by a rattlesnake stepping out of her van I wouldn't be able to see that very good if it was a few feet away I can see probably two or three feet right in front of me I'd have to go slow I could use my phone or I could use the warrior. Let's let's see if it's even worth it. Let's see what kind of light it puts out. Let's see. Yeah. I can pretty much see. Well, oh, I can see over there. I can see if I, you know, the right direction I want to walk towards my rig or where if I'm if I'm hunting or just uh, going someplace to the mailboxes. Which way are the mailboxes? I can find. I can see stuff from a long ways away. There's a big power station pole right there. I can see. Couldn't see that with my uh, iPhone. And yeah, I can definitely see if there are any snakes or scorpions on the immediate ground right around me. So I think I'm gonna pick the warrior and I'll keep my uh, iPhone in my packet. Yeah, this thing puts out a lot of light for a little compact uh, flashlight. I'm digging it. Well, there you have it. You decide. You can get yourself the bundle for 40% off right now. Otherwise, if you miss the opportunity for 40% off, it's still a great flashlight and a great deal with all these extra functions and all this durability and have to have all this uh, power in your hand. 
uh, head on over to the link in the notes and grab yourself one of these. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Taking a look at the little, let's see what the heck they did on this. Little key ring flashlight, that's what they call it. I don't know, maybe if you water it, it'll turn into one of the M2Rs. Water it? Yeah, it'll grow. Let's turn it on. Let's see, just a little light to see what you're doing. Close up. Oh no, what am I saying? Look at how bright it goes. And it says it's rechargeable. Let's see what that means. Low five lumens, high 150 lumens, about 44 meters distance. It's got a charging indicator and it's got, I don't see a charge cord coming in it, but you pull this out. All right, let's, let's do it. Low, high, unscrew it and it kind of springs out and has a USB port. Yeah, has a micro USB port to be able to uh, charge it back up. Hey, we're living in 2020. Stuff like this is gonna come out. So it's in the bundle. See ya.